Clarence and the Great Surprise Written and illustrated by Gene Ekman Adams Clarence and Smokey pack very carefully. They are leaving on a trip. Smokey is going to carry Clarence and his suitcase over the mountains, rocks, and rivers of the West until they reach the big city. Clarence can hardly wait. But first, Smokey is going to show Clarence a great surprise. Clarence loves surprises. What is it? Clarence squeaks. Something to eat? No, Smokey says, it's not something to eat. After a few minutes on the trail, they stop and have a picnic. Clarence loves picnics. He sits on a rock and has a little sandwich. They climb higher and higher, up one side of a mountain and down the other, over a big rock and through some water. It rains and Clarence sneezes. He wishes he had another sandwich. That evening, Smokey sets up the tent. Clarence helps. He is a city pig and has never slept in a tent before. Smokey tucks Clarence into bed with his cloud hat and winds film into his camera. Clarence loves having a horse. The next morning, Clarence notices two things. Sleeping on the ground is lumpy, and something is definitely following them. Smokey, he squeaks. Something is definitely following us. Smokey says, oh look, it's a little old dog. Looks like he's lost. Maybe he's coming along with us. Clarence does not remember anything about a little old dog coming with them. After breakfast, they decide to go fishing. Clarence has never been in a lake. The water is cold and zippy. Clarence shivers. Is this the surprise? No, not yet, says Smokey. The surprise is not a lake. After lunch, they take a nap. Then they do some cloud watching. Clarence sees one that looks like a donut. He also notices that the dog makes a little humming noise. He hums, Clarence says. I don't think he can hear very well, says Smokey. He clops his hoofs together loudly, and the dog jumps up and blinks his little eyes. Then he starts to dance. First a tango, then a hip-hop, a twirl, and a slide. He even has a tiny hat. Clarence is amazed. The dog sits down and looks hopefully at Smokey and Clarence. He's not leaving, is he? asks Clarence. He's happy he's coming on our trip, Smokey says. You'll have to watch him to make sure he doesn't twirl away. Clarence curls up his toes and sighs. Clarence decides to call the dog Edgar. They come to a little town, and Edgar does some fancy dancing on the street corner. Clarence wonders where he keeps the tiny hat. After Edgar's dance, they are invited to stay in a hotel. Clarence loves the hotel. He really loves room service. Smokey orders, hey. Is this the surprise, Clarence asks. No, not yet, Smokey says. The surprise is not a hotel. Edgar hums all night. The next evening, they meet some horses Smokey knows and stay up late singing songs together. Smokey plays the harmonica. Clarence is surprised that all the horses know the words to Home on the Range. Edgar hums and dances, and Clarence squeaks. After the singing, Clarence notices that Edgar is gone. Smokey, Clarence squeaks, Edgar is lost. He twirled away. They look and look, 
under rocks and behind logs. They look up in trees and down in gullies. Clarence loses his favorite muffler. Smokey neighs and Clarence squeaks. They forgot that Edgar can't hear well. Then they find the tiny hat stuck on a bush. Clarence suddenly misses Edgar. He even misses the humming noise. Edgar is very sad too, lost behind two hills and a scratchy bush. He can't hear anybody. He doesn't feel like dancing. He doesn't even feel like humming. After looking all the next day, Smokey and Clarence finally find Edgar asleep. It's just before dark. Clarence's muffler is clutched in Edgar's paws. Clarence turns even pinker than usual and squeaks. Smokey clops his hooves together. Edgar wakes up and dances for joy. They all dance. Clarence is happy to see his muffler again, too. Tomorrow, Smokey says, the great surprise. The great surprise. Clarence and Edgar had almost forgotten. Suddenly, Clarence can hardly eat his bedtime snack, and Edgar fogs up his glasses, humming excitedly. They can't sleep at all. And then, the next morning, Smokey leads them to the great surprise. It is immense. It is huge. It is bigger than words. Clarence is completely squeakless. Edgar gets overly excited at the sight and starts to jitterbug. They find it hard to leave the great surprise. Sometimes we have sunsets in the city too, Clarence says timidly. Only they're a lot smaller. He's quiet for a moment. You won't ever twirl away, will you, Smokey? I will never twirl away, Clarence promises Smokey. Clarence breathes a happy little pig sigh and curls up his toes.